hard to make something beautiful. And it's really worthwhile. And what's really cool is if you learn to make something beautiful, even one thing, if you could just make one thing in your life beautiful, then you've established a relationship with beauty. And then you can start to expand that relationship with beauty out into, into the world, like into other elements of your life. And that is so worthwhile. It's just incredibly, crazily worthwhile. And that's an invitation to the divine. You know, you have to be daring to do that. It, people are terrified of it. People are terrified of color. They paint their walls beige. They're terrified of art. They buy some mass-produced thing because they don't want anybody laughing at them for their lack of taste. And they would get laughed at because they have no taste. But you have to... <laughs> well, it's right, because what do you know, right? You have to develop it. And so you're going to stumble along and make mistakes to begin with. And you're going to show yourself, because if you buy... Oh, I, I think this is pretty. And, you know, somebody comes over and goes... <laughs> What's up with you? It's kind of hard on your self-esteem, but, but it's a stu you're stumbling towards the right... You're stumbling towards the kingdom of God. That's what you're stumbling towards when you try to make an aesthetic decision and to put something in your life that's beautiful, and it's unbelievably worthwhile to do that. Real artists, real artists are contending with the unknown, right? And they're possessed by it. They have a personality trait, openness, that makes them do that. They can't even help it. Open people have to be creative. They have to be. And so, they're cursed with the necessity of putting a foot out into the unknown and making sense of it. And then, they're also cursed with the necessity of trying to make a living while they're doing that, which they can't, because you can't. It's almost impossible to monetize creative, creative action, as many of you who are creative will no doubt find out. It's very, very frustrating. It's not that creative action is without value, right? So. Anyway, so that's what artists are doing. And so one of the things I would say is buy a damn piece of art, you know? Find one that really speaks to you and, and buy a piece of art because you invite that into your life. And it's, it's a look out if you do it, if it's a real piece of art, because you'll also get a, you know, a little introduction to the artist and then that'll seep into your life and that'll change things like mad. But it's really, it's unbelievably worth it because it, it opens your eyes to the domain of the transcendent. That's the right way of thinking about it. A real piece of art is a window into the transcendent. That's what it is. And you need that in your life because you're finite and limited and bounded right by your ignorance and your lack of knowing. And unless you can make a connection to the transcendent, then you don't have the strength to prevail. very much worthwhile to make an economic and practical case for this sort of thing. You study literature in the humanities so that you can familiarize yourself with the wisdom of our civilization. Man, you should do that because people have been working on this thing for a long time and it's rich beyond comparison, so why wouldn't you do that? Man does not live by bread alone. That's exactly right. We live by beauty. We live by literature. We live by art. And literally, not metaphorically, we cannot live without it because life is too dismal and, and, and tragic in the absence of the sublime. <laughs>